All right, in this video, I'm going to quickly show how to make a theremin patch on the Microfreak. Let's start by pulling up an init patch. Let's adjust the glide. It's a little bit over 100. That will give us the smooth slide between notes. Let's go into the, the matrix here and patch some LFO into the pitch. One thing we have to do is maybe give it a little bit uh, slower attack. And quite a bit slower. And then maybe, if you ever watch somebody play a theremin, as they increase the volume with one hand, they increase the vibrato with the other. So instead of patching LFO straight to the pitch, let's erase that. Assign one to that um, matrix point and then patch the envelope so that it increases the intensity of the vibrato as the envelope as the volume kicks in it's a subtle difference but it, it it'll help give the patch a little more nuance let's use the aftertouch to add um, some expressiveness to this patch so let's dial over here to pressure and as we push harder uh, let's increase the depth of that vibrato so I'm, I'm going to put it around like two so that sounds pretty static um, so what we want is as we push harder for the uh, vibrato to maybe change speed. So let's take off the LFO sync. Uh, so that's maybe our slow speed. Then let's use the sine 2 to set that to rate and then route the pressure to the rate here. And then as we push harder, we get uh, a more expressive vibrato. Um, another thing we might want is like to have uh, the location on the um, keypad to have a little bit of an effect on the rate as well. So, I don't know, maybe just... Uh, the lower notes, maybe you do a slower vibrato. Okay, so so far this performs kind of like a theremin, but the timbre's all wrong. So we're just gonna um, maybe look at what kind of waveform to use. I, I think, you no, know, there's nothing wrong with like a, a saw wave, I guess. If you, so if you set base, morph to 50 on the basic waves, that gives you a saw wave. Uh, and then just... But I, I think... Um, you know, a normal theremin sounds a bit na more nasally than that, so maybe you add some resonance in like a kind of a nasally... in a nasally frequency. So that's pretty close. Uh, you know, maybe you want... Uh, there's other, you know, it's just tuned to taste. You can uh, blend in some square wave and add some pulse width here. Um, this one does pulse width, and symmetry at zero is a square wave, and then at 50 is the saw wave, so in between is kind of a blend. So now we're starting to get that nasally theremin sound. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just throw some delay on there, uh, some delay or reverb on there, and uh, you know, you have a pretty decent expressive theremin type sound. There you go. All right, I hope somebody out there found that useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this kind of thing, like and subscribe. 
Uh, I'm planning on uploading a bunch more of these kinds of videos, and if you have any requests for sounds you'd like me to show how to recreate, please leave those in the comments as well. I recently expanded my preset pack for the Microfreak to 260 patches, so if you want to hear some of the sounds I've been making on the Microfreak, uh, I uploaded a, a demo video just the other day. I'll put the link in the description. All right, take care. Bye.